Welcome to Crystal Caves HD! You might not know of this one, it's a bit underground. Uh, this came out pretty much unexpectedly, to be honest. Uh, just very recently, uh, Apogee, or somebody who bought the name, uh, announced that there was going to be this remake of Crystal Caves, which I spent a lot of time on when I was growing up. Uh, and it's amazing to see it revived like this. I do question the HD label a bit, because obviously it's still got its nice pixel art graphics, but uh, it does look like a really nice remake. It was uh, made by Emberheart Games, uh, where uh, just two people worked on, the, on this uh, entire remake. Uh, you can see that it's, uh, OZ did the music, and uh, that person there did the uh, most of the rest of the stuff. Uh, I think that any attempt of mine to pronounce that would just make things worse for me. So I'm just, I'm just going to faff around in it and uh, start Troubles with Twibbles and uh, just see how much I remember. What's this? Easy, you get another heart, you get lower enemy health. Oh. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to stay on normal for now. Ship's log, star date 2121.04. Personal entry record on. I've decided to fly into the Altarian star system against my better judgement. The perilous caves of Altair are my best hope of getting enough cash for a down payment on a Twibble farm. Now, I'd never seen Star Trek when I first played this game, so I had no idea what this was about. <laughs> With the furry Twibbles now the rage of the galaxy, I need to get in now before the fad fades. Twibbles might be the biggest fad since pet mood slime. I don't really know what that's about either. Uh, I just hope I can make it out here. The Kiwi is 11 light years past its last oil change, and the holographic steering assembly seems to be acting up. I'd better steer clear of anything big. <laughs> Oh, the stealing system's failing again. This is this is a wonderful <laughs> reinterpretation of this little animation. Whoa, where'd that come from? Phew, made it! Now I need to collect enough crystals to trade at the Galactic Trading Post, which means go into all the other levels, collect all the crystals. So th this is lovely. Look at the earth up there. It's all been... Uh, well, obviously this is well past VGA by this point, but it's a very good impression of what a VGA version of the game might have looked like. Huh. Now, did uh, did anyone else always jump over this mountain at the start of the game, even though you didn't need to? Just me? I don't know. Um, let's see, what... I can't, I can't remember where all the levels were. Let's do this one. Oh yeah, this one, okay. So it's it's kind of an uncanny experience uh, with such smooth movement because you had very uh, it wasn't grid based but it was kind of twitchy in the in the original game and it's really been smoothed up there. the missiles thank you the I've been playing this for ages you don't need to tell me. Although, to be honest, those hints were in the original game as well. I was about to launch into, you know, I don't need to be spoon-fed, but, but those windows were there in the original game. Uh, if you hit the air compressor, then, uh, then you explode. Here we go. Use the to activate a lever. So these uh, function instead of uh, keys in this game, they're just levers, they're no keys. I think I need to go down to get the other levers. You fall much faster if you slip off a platform compared to the natural falling when you jump. So that's that's very faithful as well. Uh, what do you suppose that does? I can't remember whether... I can't remember which mushrooms are poisonous and which aren't. So I'm going to play it safe for now. <laughs> That's in ah, gonna have to wait, but that's interesting. You can jump if you hold down jump and go out of a one by one space. Then he jumps at his next opportunity. I, I can't remember if the original game did that. I think it would be a bit generous if it did. That's nice to have. There's a laser launcher there. Oh, the snakes! Oh no! 
Oh, that's okay. Yeah, the snakes. I thought you could only hurt them when they were uh, facing you, but uh, I must have misremembered that. But they, they, they leave their remains behind. Oh yeah, and there's the um, the border in the overscan area, which is invisible on DOSBox normally, making the game a bit awkward to play. There we go, we're okay. Um, Oh, this is this is a really nice recreation. There we go, perfect health. Oh, and and you get uh, you get an achievement for that as well. That's great. Right. Okay. Um. So I, it, I, I will explore the the rest of this later, but I do want to dive into something else because there is a little extra in here. Because this is the ultimate Crystal Caves Thy Flesh Consumed, there is a fourth episode uh, that's been written specifically for this remake. So, uh, I've never seen this before. After living it high on the hog these past few decades from the fortune he made on his chain of burger joints, Milo booked an extended galactic vacation on board the stellar cruise ship Vigier, Viger, I don't know, that promised an exciting trip to the far-flung reaches of the known galaxy, plus a visit to the fabled and mysterious Badlands Triangle where many ships have been reported missing. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. After enjoying all the adventures of parts of the galaxy that very few people ever get to see, the final destination of the mysterious Badlands Triangle is finally within sight. As the Viger approaches a space normal speed, an increased amount of electrical activity starts to dance across the Badlands Triangle, illuminating many unknown or uncharted phenomenon that science hasn't even come close to identifying. You could have use a proofreader for this story. Uh -oh. After performing a few calculations and doing an intensive scan with his personal quad corridor, Milo determines that it is the Vizier itself that is causing the Iron Storm and that the ship could be drawn into the phenomenon with unknown consequences. Milo jumps into the turbovator and tells the computer to take him to the bridge so that he can inform the captain to change course. Do they not have any method of communicating on this ship? Have phones regressed? As the, as the turbovator travels on the outside of the Vizier, a massive energy bolt lashes out from the storm and strikes the turbovator with Milo in it, causing an overload in the power systems of the ship and triggers the explosive bolts on the turbovator to accidentally fire, thrusting it directly into the wormhole. <gasps> okay, I was not quite expecting that sentence to be that long when I started it. Alright, so we have been cast through realities. When the turbovator comes out the other side of the wormhole, Milo has no idea where he is. He connects his quadcorder to the computer in the turbovator. Oh, quadcorder! It's a bit better than the tricorder, huh? Uh, and it reports that it is in the Delta Quadrant 70,000 light years from home. A few days later, a passing salvage ship rescues him, but his vast fortune is worthless here, and he needs to find a way to pay for transport home. Ship's Log! Stardate 2123.03. I know I can raise money here in the Delta Quadrant, but how to get started? Record interrupted. Just then, the salvage ship lands and the captain kicks him off, saying, We don't transport deadbeats. Good luck getting off this mining colony. Of course, mining! Time to get digging! There we go. Just during that introduction, I, I just thought how uh, it would be amazing to have this space trading game for Crystal Caves where you fly yourself around different planets and uh, mine for crystals and, uh, you know, someone, someone else can fill in the rest. Alright, we've got a low gravity level to start off with. Doesn't really feel all that low gravity. Did, the, the, did low gravity not have more of an effect before? Hmm. Oh, those eggs! Um, you can you can pick them up in order for a bonus, and, and uh, you have to you have to hatch them by shooting at them. But I didn't. All right, so I'm down to one life already. Not doing quite so well as uh, my fantastic skill was evident in the first uh, attempt I'd made at this. Uh, so I can't get that. I covered Crystal Caves, uh, of course, in the 3D Realms videos that I did uh, a very long time ago by now. Um, where uh, uh, Joe Ziegler, that's his name, sorry, I was I was thinking George Broussard, but Joe Ziegler was uh, very eager for me to include the detail that they released a patch for Crystal Caves, something like 15 or 
maybe more years after it was released. Uh, closer to 20, probably. Uh, that, uh, that fixed a bug on Windows XP and above that set your system clock back a hundred years when you exited the game. This game just sets your system clock back a few years, but it, it's nice to have it. Alright, how do I get up there? Addition of music, by the way. Uh, there was no... Oh, he's got a Nightal animation as well. So, uh, yeah, the addition of music. Uh, the, the original game had no music, because uh, it just used the PC speaker, and uh, it had to... It had to oh, there, you, you have to use your uh, corner jump ability. Yeah, and the PC speaker is uh, not really what you want if you want to try to make music or really sound in any form. But uh, well, that's just all bonuses, so I'm not missing any crystals. But yeah, th this adds a sort of almost Commodore 64-ish soundtrack to it, uh, which sounded a bit strange to me at first. It made it, it made it uh, sound a bit like Cave Story, but I definitely appreciate it. Oh! Nearly got to the end and then uh, died on a pile of X worm. Um, let's go back to the main level and just try a different one. Uh, you'll do. <laughs> the Kilroy was here sign. I, I, I don't really know what that's about. Obviously, I know what Kilroy was here is about, but. Anyway. I, I really like these, um... I really like these cute little sprite graphics. It is a... it's a really nice reworking of the game. Now, how do I... how do I do that? Oh, I know! I know how to do that! I have to jump down here first, then shoot that there. Jumped to somewhere I wasn't realizing I was jumping to. Oh, these huge things! Hey, hey! Did you do that in the first game? Didn't know they could uh, spawn more of themselves. Egg. All right. Okay, that's blue. Now, am I just being incredibly lucky, or do the letters uh, do, do the letters uh, rearrange themselves as you shoot them? You know what I mean? So you'll always get the B first, then the O, then the N. We'll see. Kind of uh, short on ammunition here. There's another. Uh, yeah, there's another pistol up there. Uh oh. I'd rather like uh, not to have to go through this without a pistol. We'll wait for it. Come on, bird brain. There we go. Woo! Alright. Commence dripping! There. I get nervous when uh, timed things like that are off the screen and they deactivate. It's gonna mess up my rhythm. So yeah, this is um, this is another sort of oddity of Crystal Caves, the original, that ammunition carries from level to level. So in the first few levels you choose to to uh, play, you'll be very short on ammo. But then, as the game goes on, it gets oddly easier. Uh, I need to get those crystals, but I've only got one shot, and that's nowhere near enough to down an angry T-Rex. Go over here then. Can I jump over him? Yeah, I can, okay. Easy escape. So did I open the green door then? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Oh, I need that for the egg! Is there any more ammunition around? 
Uh, I see a candle, I don't see any ammunition. Alright, well, we'll have to abandon the egg at the last hurdle. Alright. We can exit the level. Perfect health! Alright, so I didn't gain any advantage from that whatsoever because I've still got zero anime. Let's just go to the other thing that I want to show. Which is the generous inclusion of a level editor. Now, my idea, of course, was to recreate the first level of Secret Agent, which is the game that came after Crystal K is built on the same engine. Uh, now, however, someone has obviously already done this in the uh, day and a half this has been out, Secret Agent Level 01 by Rubar. Um, so I'll play through this first and then uh, try to think of uh, something else to do as I'm playing through it. And this is, again, a really nice recreation. You've got the ropes, you've got the water, you've got the... It's all been uh, transliterated into Crystal, Crystal Cave style. Ah! Oh yeah, these these are fridges. I don't I don't know what they're meant to be. I always call them fridges that uh, scoot about and they're worryingly fast. Okay, so oh yeah, that and of course you've recreated the keys and the positions of the keys by uh, opening doors. And <laughs> this used to be a uh, uh, this used to be a robot dog, and it's this uh, little robot on legs. Okay. Okay, so there's... Ah, okay, so the thing below me here was a laser field. And that's effectively deactivated by uh, having a moving platform that goes over the spikes. What's this? Oh, you feel stronger. Yes, so you're invulnerable here for just a few seconds. Two, one... Okay. Ah, now this let you see invisible platforms. But in this instance, you reverse gravity. Is it a bit sad that I know the first level of Secret Agent quite so much off by heart? Zero. And we're off. Guards the snake. There we go, 10k bonus for the eggs. Oh, am I, am I going to die on this one as well? No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Did I get the key? I did get the key. Let's uh, go back and get that chest. Living dangerously here. I could have just uh, exited. Yeah, 2,000. That was all worth it. Oh, I messed that up. I'm sorry. So yeah, this this is... It's just got a lot of charm to it. It's it's uh, a really nice, slightly smoother reworking of the original game, and I don't... I can't think of anything to complain about. <laughs> Oh, and then you get a little, uh, little rating. Bad, okay, great. Uh, I'll give you a great for that. Thank you very much. All right, let's try to make my own level. All right, so here's the plan. What I'm going to do is try to recreate a level from my own remake of Secret Agent, which was called Special Agent, that I released back in 2006. Uh, this is a level called Zelmite Mine, which was in itself a tribute to Crystal Caves. Uh, so now we're going to play a tribute to the original game's level that was within a remake of the semi-sequel within a remake of the original game. And if that's got any, if that's got to make any sense, then uh, perhaps it's time to have more fermented pineapple juice. 
So the selection system could be worse and could be better. The, you've got um, several options up here. You've got your navigation, your terrain, which is just plain ground. I hadn't realised that uh, Crystal Caves only supported one tile type in a level. But on top of that, you've got your tiles, which are uh, things that might be background, might be solid. So you can spruce up your uh, you can spruce up your level with those. Um, uh, if you go to where is it settings, you can uh, change your base tile set. Uh, but uh, this one looks good to me and is coincidentally quite close to what I had in uh, the special agent game. Um, let's keep on going here. I've also got to say it's not quite clear from the tile set what you can jump through, what you can land on, and uh, what you can do neither with. Uh, so I might... Uh, where's my player start here? Um, I might just run... Uh, yeah, all right. Obviously I want to move it. Hold on. going to shift click to delete. Uh, maybe slightly awkward, I don't know. Um, let's just drop into the level here. Okay, so... Yeah, I can stand on that, can stand on that. I can... Yes, I can jump through that, that's good. Alright. Continuing with all that in mind. So I'm just painstakingly copying out my uh, layout for Zelmite Mine. Uh, and I'm running into a problem here because the, the level is not quite tall enough to uh, accommodate my level layout. I thought I'd uh, made it the same size as the levels from Secret Agent, but I might have expanded it uh, and not remembered. But... Um, I don't see a way to change the level size in the map settings, so it is a, maybe a bit of a shame that they chose not to do that and not allow you to make uh, massive epic levels. Uh, in another way, perhaps it's just as well. Um, so I'll, ju I'll just adapt as I go. I'm already seeing I'm, I'm also going to have the same problem this way, uh, so I might have to adapt a bit of what I'm going for up here. Uh, I'll wing it, it'll be fine. I'd really like a way to pick up a tile that's already there instead of hunting through the tile pack for them every time. So it doesn't seem like there's one for that here. There is a... Uh, the tab says Regen Bikija. Uh I don't know what that means, and I'm afraid to press it. Actually, you know what, I can save this. Save map. Zelmite... Oh, caps lock's on. Zelmite mine. Map saved. Okay, let's press tab. Oh, I see. It re-rolls the uh, random numbers it uses to generate the background. Okay. So, of course, when I was making Special Agent, I could just program in anything I wanted, and I had a stick of dynamite down here, and you could blow this wall up. But uh, I think in place of that, I'm, I'm just going to have a door. Bit of an issue with the map validation here, because uh, it's saying place at least one crystal, and of course I have. I'm wondering... If it's because I'm using the Square Episode 2 crystals, and not these ones. Yeah, there you go. You know, I was working on my own uh, sequel to Crystal Caves as well. Uh, it never really had a name. I was thinking of calling it Endless Cave, and the idea was that you'd have a level, a level editor like this, and you would upload your levels to this bank online, and when you played it, it would pull a random level from the bank and give that to you, and then you'd reach the end of that, and then it would pull another... So everyone got a different game, and the more people submitted levels, the more the game grew. Um, unfortunately, I gave up on it for reasons I can't remember. Okay, I think that's most of the level laid out. Uh, the timer on Special Agent that I've got up on my uh, other computer just now... Uh, you can't put this in a window, that's uh, also kind of annoying. Uh, the timer says 37 minutes, 27 seconds. I've never seen it get up that high, but uh, so apparently I've spent 40 minutes. Let's... Uh, Let's populate this with some enemies. Now, I can't remember what most of these do. Let's put a couple of you creepers that fly around up there in that kind of ex uh, enclosed space. Um, oh, you're that thing. Um, what's the apple? Do? Oh, I, I thought it was an apple! <laughs> Making a grumpy face, but it's a, it's a caterpillar. Um, yeah, you, you can go there. No, no, I want a snake down there, because I, I want to do something with that platform, so I'm going gonna, gonna to put a snake there. Make it awkward for uh, players that don't uh, shoot them in the right places. Um, let's put some ammunition for you. Let me check, actually, because I, I don't want the player to run out of ammunition. There's one there, that's fine. Um, I'll give you one there. Put an enemy. 
Uh, you'll do. Do these just uh, find their bounding uh, the the bounding boxes of their roots themselves? Maybe you. Hmm. <laughs> you can go there, and we'll need some more amulets. Now that looks like it's highlighted to me, but I can't place it until I uh, until I click on it. That's another little annoyance. Uh, these these are all you know tiny little things. I imagine they'll probably be patched out by the time I uh, release this video. But it's 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 worth uh, it's worth mentioning. Um, so what I'm thinking here, this was another place where in Special Agent I had the uh, invisibility goggles, and I'm copying uh, the person who made the spe the secret agent level by instead providing an anti gravity pill. And I'm going to put the lever to open the door up there as well. A couple of crystals on the ceiling. And some up here. So the idea is that the player goes down here, feeds, uh, fights off any enemies down here, gets that, pulls the lever, run, run, run over there, and in there, and then you drop down when the anti-gravity runs out, and that's uh, that's you done. Oh, I'd forgotten about these bitey dragon heads that come out of the walls. Uh, maybe there, I, I, I can't remember how uh, easy they are to avoid. Uh, the mine truck, I think that just rolls back and forwards. Let's have a look here. I think I can make this look a bit better by having uh, scaffolding there instead. I like the uh, number of opportunities there are for decoration here with these uh, handrail tiles and everything. Makes the maps look quite satisfying. Now I'm tempted to put down a bat because they always worked in the dark levels by only being visible with their eyes and being difficult to see, but I'm not going to because I'm not that cruel. <laughs> Let's put you on there and extend this platform a bit so you've got somewhere to terrorise. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, put a little mine this way sign here. I'm going to get rid of these spikes, I think. Oh, I can't. Um, objects, uh, there. Why won't you let me delete that? Ah, because I need to select an object down there. Hmm. Do, 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 London Underground. Do, 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 London Underground. It's a bit disappointing that you can't uh, put grass where enemies are and things. What's that? Hmm. And there's another thing here that I that I saw earlier. What's that? Can't remember these. Ah, and that's a falling danger sign. Very sneaky. I think this is really taking shape now. Just a couple more things to go. Not totally sure about this jump. I might have to extend that, but I'll see. Is that the right way to use these tiles? I think so. Oh no, hang on. Hmm, maybe. Alright, I will put a bat in, but just one, and only because it's going to float in front of there. Oh look, they've uh, recreated uh, Commander Keen's helmet under the... Uh, uh, whatever that is, I do like these tiles, though the, you know, the kind of sense that you're going more underground and it's it's more overgrown here. It would actually make more sense for it to be more overgrown above ground, where more plants. Could... Anyway, I think I am going to bottle it and put a little platform there. Some fruit as well. I think these appear like in Pac-Man, where occasionally what what's that? What what are you? What are you... Oh no no no! Do you? Is there a spot that you have to hit to summon this fruit? Let's see. Because um, there was something else. There was an objects. If you have off on. That's invalid play. Okay, you have to, no, I don't want this. Um, what's in help here? Changing object properties. Right click. And then select activator with a left click and make a connection with the card over. Right click here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm dragging, I'm moving, I'm not really seeing what I'm meant to be doing. Or is this... Am I, is this pointing at the spot that will cause a strawberry to appear somewhere on that? I don't know. I'm leaving those out. I was going to stick some crystals down here, but I, I maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave this as a little bonus area. Full of chests. That's a good idea. Where's the, gonna be, where's the key going to be? Yeah, if you maybe you get the key up here and then on your way back you can choose to risk it. Eggs. I need to place the eggs. 
B-O-N-U-S. Done. Not really sure how many bonus objects is too many bonus objects. So you've got to go to this corner, you've got to do all this, you've got to go to there, you've got to go there, you've got to go there, and there. That's a bonus area, you've got to get the things out of there, and you've got to go there and there. Okay, I, th I think this is, I think this is just about workable. Shall we see how it plays? All right. All right, so treasure cart is going to go that way, and I'm going to sneak past it when it goes over there. Hey! Okay. Oh! None of these are platforms! <laughs> Back in a minute! And that'll do, I think. Right, try again. Crystal! 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 There we go. Oh, no, that's that's going to be annoying. I didn't mean to press S to go back to the end of it. That was even more annoying. Uh, it is going to be annoying that you have to cross the exit, and that will give you that message. Oh, hold on a minute. I thought you could walk past the exit, but you can't. Let me rethink. Let me rethink some of this. Oh, that should do it. Okay. So I'm going to put some little platforms over the exit so that you can just uh, jump up and use it as a platform. I'll probably do it. Oh, actually, 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 sorry. Um, I should choose my music as well. What have we got? So we've got... Blah, 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 blah. That's, nice and, that's nice and happy. A bit slower. That's a bit Metallica. Definitely getting a similar uh, theme running through these musics. All right, let's just go with music seven. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it plays. Let's get that first, I think. Oh yeah, the worms leave their uh, discarded bodies behind as well, I've forgotten about that. Oh, this is this is kind of challenging here. Alright, so I've got to wait for that ball to fall asleep and then shoot him three times quick. Ah! I didn't know you could shoot! Where's my bee? Going to come close. Now, has that just been hidden by the grass or did it cancel out? There we go. Gravity. Four, three, two, one. Hey. Bat. All right, let's get back up around. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully that works. Yep. There's the O. So does that only go a certain distance over? Oh no, it does. It does. Uh, it just turns around when it uh, finds a wall. Here's my N, I think. There we go. This is really satisfying, by the way. It's just the, the, the pixel of the artwork is so nice. The thing about pixel artwork is that it never ages, because it's always drawn exactly as you drew it. In, in 3D artwork, 
it's, it's John as well as the computer could interpret what you meant. If that makes any sense. You've got a limited number of polygons you could uh, spare on each model. And uh, you've got a limited resolution that you can uh, render them in. But pixel art is, is always constant. It's a nice, stable thing in this unstable universe. There we go, I've got them all. Yes. I'm going to put you in the corner there. And you in the corner there. Okay. Their entrails don't uh, leave... Uh, they, they don't align to the grid anymore. They used to just snap back to whatever you told them, the nearest grid position, but they don't. That's good. There we go. And I think that is perfect health. And that's the end of the level, okay. Ah! Ah, hang on! Where'd that go? Ah! That <laughs> Wait a minute now, that's a severe flaw in the editor if it deletes your level after you test it. Let's see, do, is that... Uh, yeah, I placed the eggs, I, I placed the key... I think that's... I think that's all... Uh, that's all accounted for. But yeah, um, that's... That's a, that's a bit of an, anno <laughs> an annoying bug. All right. Should I put uh, these blocks in the walls next to... Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent. Ah, that's the thing I meant to do. I meant to... Uh, 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 uh. Was there anything else that I did... Was there anything else that I did after uh, I made this correction? Well, that uh, could have had tragic consequences, but fortunately, everything seems to be okay. I'm just checking if you go the other route as well, where you'll have enough ammunition. You've got ten from there. You could go down there. There's not a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. Okay, so let's save that. And I'm going to uh, make sure that I've got the... That's my novel name. That's my name. That's tile set and background. I'm going to say level uh, music seven. Save. I can't save. Okay, presumably that's just saved along with the map, but so I'll do a quick uh, delete and recreate just to be sure. That's what we call a white space push. All right, save, and we're going to publish the Steam. I can't type the letter Q. <laughs> I swear. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Uh, sorry, that seems to be a W. R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. <laughs> I can't type Q! What's, what's another word for semi-sequel? Right, so I've reworded that and we're uploading. Our level is uploaded. So, I think... If we back out of here... Yes, I do. Uh, we're going to go to Steam Workshop. And I suppose it needs to go through some... Uh, does it need to go through some kind of uh, vetting process before it appears here? Well, whichever it is, it's not yet, so presumably at some point uh, you will get to play that level as well and uh, have a lot of fun with Crystal Caves HD because uh, I'm, I'm very pleased that this exists. It's really nice. Thank you for lending some niceness to my day. Goodbye. Take some deep breaths. Uh, things might be alright soon. Maybe.